guys, it's Tampa Tech, and in this video I'm going to show you four different ways to reset your check engine light. Now the first few ways are going to be the three easy ways, and the last way is going to use a diagnostic tool, which is going to read the error code and basically show you or tell you what's causing the check engine light to kick on. So I just upgraded my cold air intake, and I drove around town, and I got a check engine light, and I thought this would be a good opportunity to make a video. Now most check engine lights will activate because of loose gas cap or a bad O2 sensor. But the only way to be sure is, use, is using the diagnostic tool. Now if your problem was an EVAP leak error, and that's why the check engine light was co coming on, you want to check the shape of your uh, gas cap. If it's in good shape, maybe it was just a loose gas cap, which is a very common check engine light error code. Make sure that's not tight. Now, if you take out your battery terminal, your negative on your battery terminal, and you wait one to five minutes, and it doesn't um, reset your check engine light, or even reset your, uh, your car radio, because it will reset your car radio, and you have to reprogram your car radio. Uh, what you want to do is get a jumper, and you want to hook up the jumper on this end, right here, not on the battery, but on the uh, terminal dome connector right here. And then what you want to do is connect it on your positive right here, which is the red. And then you wait after waiting like one minute, all the capacitors should be drained by, by then to clear all the codes. And don't forget to tighten your negative terminal. So let's go ahead and turn on the car. And the check engine light is not there. But the radio is reset. So you're gonna have to reprogram your radio and take it easy when you drive the next 20 to 30 miles because your car is gonna relearn itself. And during this time, your check engine light may occur again if you didn't fix the problem. Now first thing you wanna do is locate your OBD plug. And mine is right here near the driver's side door under the dashboard. Now sometimes it might be near under your dashboard in the center console or the passenger side under the dashboard but you should have one if you have a car that's like 2000 or newer and you want to make sure the car is turned off first when you plug this thing in only thing you have to do is go ahead and plug in your tool your tester right here plug it in and your car is off right now and this is powered by your car so once you plug it in it'll turn on so we turn on the car. The check engine light is still on. Now that we have the car turned on, the meter turns on. Hit enter. And you have to wait until it starts scanning. Go ahead and click on enter again. And we're gonna find out what the code is. And I got a fault two. Hit enter. And I got an error code P0102. I scroll down. I got P0113. Scroll down again. P0102. And P0113P. So I could go ahead and hit enter and then scroll down. I can erase the code, hit enter, and go ahead and hit enter again. And then you go ahead, the check engine light disappears. Now if I don't fix the problem, what caused that light to turn on, then that light will kick back on eventually, like maybe five, ten miles down the road. Now if you don't have the repair manual to look up the codes, that's fine. The tester uh, diagnostic tool does come with, with its own manual. The codes are the same and they're in the, in the manual. So I got my service manual, my repair manual. And I turn to this page which tells me OBD2 troubleshooting codes, which is uh, DTC codes right here. And you can see right here, the code that was on the meter was a P0102. Mass airflow sensor.
and the other code is P0113 intake air temperature sensor IAT and that's basically off of my cold air intake plug and when I change out my cold air intake it didn't click all the way in and then I have a push all the way in and I forgot to lock it so after a while I vibrated loose I guess all right and so now I can reset the code and if the um, check engine light doesn't turn back on then that was it so let me know if this video helped you out give me a thumbs up it helps me out and share this video to anyone this video may interest or help by clicking on the share button below share it to Facebook or G plus or even your um, channel and subscribe to Tampa Tech for more easy common tech fixes and check out the other uh, mechanic channels, Scotty Kilmer and Eric the Car Guy.